The live television broadcast of the Las Vegas leg of the World 7 series earlier this year was the latest example of the increased exposure being given to rugby in the United States. The shortened version of the game has the popular appeal to attract more newcomers to the sport. And in the New York suburb of the Bronx recently, the game was introduced to a group of willing, if somewhat curious, participants. Play Rugby USA is first and foremost a youth development programme, so our mission is developing youth through rugby. Um, we're focused on bringing the game of rugby to uh, underserved urban populations in uh, urban areas throughout America and uh, using it as a vehicle to you know, develop kids on and off the field. I think we've had extremely positive feedback from the students. We've got a lot of kids that um, have sort of been included and become part of a community and part of a team now that probably otherwise wouldn't have had that chance. Um, and I think also you can talk to some of the teachers here uh, that actually are now rugby coaches um, who never coached rugby before and they love coaching rugby. The tournament was organised in conjunction with the Public Schools Athletic League, where rugby has been added to a long-established list of traditional sports such as baseball and basketball. I knew very little about rugby. I saw it a few times on television, but um, that was probably my, uh, the most I knew. I am surprised at the impact. I, this is beyond what we expected, but working closely with Play Rugby USA, they've been, they've been more than um, helpful. They've been tremendous and they've had a great impact on all of our schools. It gives them an outlet, it gives them an opportunity to represent their schools and not just, not just in the classroom but also out here on the field. Played in the shadow of the world famous Yankee Stadium, the day attracted an enthusiastic crowd of youngsters as well as some equally supportive, if bemused, family members. When I saw it, I, f I knew I liked it because it was just like football and I liked the contact and contact sports and just like that. Well, he's the first rugby player in the family is definitely new to me. Um, from what I'm seeing right now, it's a very exciting sport, uh, very physical sport, athletic sport. I'm just here to support him. I don't understand it, but um, it's, you know, a lot of excitement and the kids seem to enjoy it. Uh, my reaction was I had, you know, kind of like mixed feelings because I know they play without equipment. And it could be, you know, it can be kind of dangerous, more dangerous than football is. So, you know, I would just hope that he would maintain his health and his conditioning so that he wouldn't get hurt. It's had a positive impact on my son. And when I tell uh, people when I have to leave work early, I'm going to my son's rugby game, and everybody kind of, you know, freezes rugby. You know, you know, it's a tough sport. You know, it must be a tough kid. And it proved a day to remember for the Benjamin family, as Jamal's Canarsie High School from Brooklyn overcame their South Bronx hosts to retain their title for another year. And there was cause for further celebration for two lucky students, Kevin Jones and Jackie Reyes, the beneficiaries of a prestigious six-week scholarship in New Zealand. The scholarship's essentially going to be um, awarded to players based on a rubric of four things, a youth development rubric, not just how they perform on the field. Um, so firstly, it's their academics, uh, their attendance, their attitude, because obviously they're representing us uh, as Play Rugby USA, New York City, their school, um, and lastly, their athletic uh, performance, athletic ability, because obviously we want them to be able to make the most of that piece of it, uh, especially in rugby terms when they go to New Zealand. They come down for six weeks and we place them at two schools, the biggest school, Rangitoto College, uh, over the North Shore in Auckland. Both schools have, have uh, basically given the tuition free and they have uh, four weeks at school, uh, playing a bit of rugby within the school, mixing with the students, but uh, we also make sure they get training with the Blues, uh, Auckland Blues. We take them to a Bledisloe uh, Cup match, so it's a really an overall snapshot experience for them really. I'm very excited. I'm really surprised. I mean, I'm shaking. I don't. I couldn't believe that it happened. I'm really excited. I've never been to New Zealand, and it just sounds like so much fun and once in a lifetime opportunity. And I think I'm just gonna have so much fun there, and I'm gonna learn so much about rugby and play with other people. And it's gonna be a wonderful experience with new people.